A facial recognition gold mine. That's how the Washington Post describes the hundreds of millions of photos FBI and ICE agents access without the knowledge or consent of the people they belong to. Activists worry that information will be abused, especially in states like Vermont, where undocumented workers have been entered into DMV systems. In Maine, the story's timing is coincidental. On July 1st, the state rolled out a database that holds sensitive information for drivers applying for enhanced licenses called real IDs. The concern is that an unknown agent in a faraway place with federal authority is reviewing your records, and that's not happening here. Maine Secretary of State Matt Dunlap says federal agents would have to get a warrant to search the new database, and only for an individual. A free-range group search would be a non-starter. We would never allow that. Dunlap says the mass searches are the realization of a concern he had when the Real ID issue first came up years ago. People want to participate in the public discourse, but they want to be left alone. They don't want people knowing their movements, and they don't want people knowing their political activities. But lawmakers approved Real ID to allow manners to get on planes. Real IDs will be required to fly in lieu of a passport by late 2020. We don't want scores of people stymied at airports because they can't get on a plane to take their kids on a family trip to Disney. You As know, for policies in other states, that Dunlap call, says he right? can't speak to them. He did tell us main system isn't connected to the internet, and that's not changing. <laughs> we tend to be jealous guardians of that information. We don't allow anyone to go through it wholesale, and that includes our federal partners. In Augusta, Dustin Blinkowski, News Center, Maine.